Hello guys and welcome to the last film in our silent years of Stan and Ollie. And tonight we're back in 1927 with Love em and Weep uh, from this new Eureka um, classic collection. Which I believe has got about 15 silent movies in there. And we've only discovered just three of them. So you've got another 12 on there to watch. If you decide to go and buy the set after looking at these reviews. Now, Love Em and Weep is, again, Stan and, um, and um, Ollie do, are not the main stars of this one. The main star of this is another famous sort of comedian from uh, that era called James Finlayson. Who was in loads of Lauren Hardy's um, movies and other, other sort of films? Now he's he's another distinctive-looking guy with a, a bald head with the hair around the sides of the back and a big moustache, and he's got the crazy, crazy eyes. He's the main star in this one, and he and he owns like a, a business, and Stan is an employee of his, and his girlfriend. Uh, Stan Finlayson's girlfriend turns up. Now, Stan Finlayson's married, so his girlfriend turns up, and she's all over him saying, you know, when are we going to go back out and all this sort of thing, and and he's trying to play it down because he, he, he wants to, you know, he wants his thing to be all over. Um, and he eventually has to give in and arrange to meet her at a bar at night time in the evening for her to go off. But just before she leaves, um, her, his wife turns up. So the woman has to be sort of flung into the bathroom. And uh, he's trying to get rid of all the evidence. He's popping her fur coat, which is, uh, I know it's of its time, but it's disgusting, into his back. There looks like he's got a tail. And Stanley's rushing around trying to help him sort of clear it all out. So his wife turns up. And tells him that some friends are coming round for the evening for dinner. So he, he, uh, at seven o'clock. So he, um, and she got, she, and she wants to go to the bathroom where the girl's hiding to, uh, to wash her hands and that. So she does that and then doesn't see the girl, which is crazy. So he manages to get away with it because his wife goes off. But then his girlfriend comes out and says, oh, I'm going to see you tonight at 8 o'clock. You better be there or I'm going to sell the story to the papers about you having an affair and that won't go down well for your business. So he's stuck in the middle So, and he doesn't know what to do. So he sends Stan uh, round to her house to um, meet her and take her to the bar and sort of be with her until he can reach there. Uh, Stan doesn't want to do it, but he's threatened him to fire him if he doesn't do it. Um, so in the evening time, Stan goes round her house um, to meet her and take her to the bar. She's really reluctant, and she gets on the phone to James Finlayson. Uh, while she's talking on the phone, James Finlayson's guests arrive at the house, and the guests are played by Oliver Hardy. So he's turned up, and he's one of the guests at the house. And so his wife, James Finlayson's wife, wants him to sort of like... Uh, sing these songs and he keeps giving her songs like things there's someone coming around your house and all this sort of thing like this um because stan's doing a lousy job at keeping this woman away and she turns up at the house and in all chaos capers start as uh, they are um at um, james finlayson's house so he's trying to keep them separate. They start lying to say that um, she's Stan's wife and all this sort of thing. And so you can imagine what's going to go on. And it's 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 a lesson in um, affairs, if you like. And it's um and it turns into a, a sort of typical um, Law and Hardy sort of um, film. But they're not really in it as as any star. They're like. Uh, they're just not extras, but they're they're like just other characters, and it's really James Finlayson and his and his uh, love interest that are the main stars of this film. 
I'm going to score the film a great watch and give it a 7 out of 10. I didn't enjoy it as much as the other two that I saw because, uh, it, it, like I said, Stan and Ollie were not the main stars of the film. But it's still a, a very sort of like interesting film. And it brought James Fenderson into the story, who, like I said, was really popular in a lot of their films. He really, really was. From the feature films they did to the shorts, James Finlayson popped up quite frequently in in all this. It's, it's all these actors were contracted to these companies. Now this is the Hal Hal Roach studio that produced this one, so they are very sort of like contracted to Hal Roach. So this is why you'll find a lot of actors in the same sort of films, and that's just how it was at the time. You had a contract with the uh, with the filmmakers. And so you had to see that contract through. You'd sign up for, I don't know, 10 films or whatever. So you had to make sure you saw that through. Not like today where the actors are sent a script and if they want to play part in it, they want to be in it, they go and audition for it and to see if they get the part. But back then, it was you were, you were, um, you signed a contract with that company, so you're going to be in the films. And that's how it was back then. But it it's it's it is of its time. A lot of the footage on this film is is quite poor. Um, it's been remastered really well, but some of it is really grainy. Especially when they go to the the bar, it looks completely. It's hard to work it out. It's a really sort of grainy sort of footage. But it does explain this at the beginning of of the, of the film that. Um, this is sort of like a bit of a mixed bag, this one, because elements of the film were found in different places. And so they managed to get the film together. But it's still a great fun watch. It's still funny and it's still really good fun. So I do score Love Them and Weep 7 out of 10. And that's it. I, I hope you've enjoyed this week of seeing some of the early Stan and Ollie films. Now, I could go and do more, but I don't want to ruin the set for you. This this set does have 15 silent sh short films in there. So I want to leave that for you to discover if you want to buy it. I do recommend it, especially if you're a Lauren Hardy fanatic. You have to own this. It's important. It's important to their career. It's important to um, all the sort of things that you like. So it's really, really, really cool thing to have. And I'm glad I brought this. It's cool, and I'm going to enjoy watching all the others on my own time. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. I had a missed call. Thanks for tuning in. Look after yourselves. Look after one another. And I really hope I'll see you all soon.